Hi guys, it's Lily. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark. And today I got my four boxes that I ordered last week from ThreadUp. So the first one I'm going to do is a designer box. And it came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So I'm excited about that. We always get excited about where the boxes come from. So total of this box comes to $131.70 for me. Um, which is about $18.81 per piece. Um, I love getting the designer boxes. It's very, it's a big chunk, especially if you don't, uh, if you have a lot of items that need to fix in. I'm not a good fixer, like sewing needle and thread. Um, damn, this is a tiny box like empty it looks like it was a big box but it's really not um all right and you see the infamous long chunk bag in there what do we have here we have a henry bendel new york it is a very large trunk um right off the bat i saw the handles need a lot of work um, nothing that I can't fix, thank goodness, but for someone who does not do the edge coating and burnishing, that might be a big issue. I think Henry Bendel brings in a decent amount of money. I don't think I've ever gotten one. If I did, um... Obviously, either haven't listed it or it hasn't sold, right? All right, so. And I don't know. I'm sure there's fakes out there. But this feels quality. The inside is in great shape. It's got some. Looks like it'll clean up. I think the main thing with this one is just the handles. So, hopefully, Mr. Henry Bendale of New York, um, you're worth some good money. And there we go. This is a tiny one. My goodness. This is a nitty bitty one. I've never gotten one this small before. Um. I do not think this is authentic. It is not. Yeah. This is definitely a fake long chomp bag. Um, there's no markings on it, not anywhere. Not on the hardware, not on this leather. Stitching is horrible. Uh, and there's no tag except for one little thing says made in China. So, yeah, see, I'm thinking that this is not, not real. I mean, there's just absolutely no markings anywhere. So, this is fake. This is zero dollars. Chino wool beanie uh, looks like it's been washed I really don't think uh, it would fit an adult by the tag it looks like it's been washed so yeah not so far not so not so great of a box I couldn't get this maybe my grandson yeah Oh, what's going on with that? Um, yeah. Hmm. No. This is also a no-go. Too bad. Um, my grandson will have a nice expensive uh, little beanie to wear this winter. 
So another zero dollar in this box. Not a very good box for Pennsylvania. Yeah, okay. We got a Gucci shirt. Uniform Gucci, not for sale. Hmm. So probably not so great. Size 48. I'm guessing your five-star restaurants in New York maybe require their employees to wear Gucci shirts, the waiters. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to check into it, but this is a uniform Gucci, not for sale. Ooh. Yeah, not a happy camper. Not with this box. Okay, we have a Burberry, Burberry, a uh, little, like, dress, a little silk, uh, mini dress, there's this, all the stitching is coming out, I don't know if you can see that. Well, it feels like silk, but the tag looks like it has been washed and washed and washed. So, it is a size small. And it's also torn here. All right, well, oh yeah, this box like totally sucks. Hopefully that Henry Mendel pocketbook is worth something because none of the rest of it is. Michael Kors size small Italian yarn that looks like a just a little sweater dress. Um, got some just stuff on it. Do not wash in water. Do not bleach. Iron at low temperature and dry clean only. Cashmere. 50% cashmere and 50% wool. That's a nice blend, um, but unfortunately, Michael Kors does not bring a lot of money. So I will see about spot cleaning, whatever it is that's stuck on the bottom of it. And then, my absolute worst nightmare, <laughs> Salvatore Ferragamo's, again. Boutique made in Italy, size nine and a half, four A. So they are extremely narrow shoes. Um, suede. They do have a cute tortoiseshell buckle, and they're in really good condition. But they'll sit like for a very long time. All right, so we've got the very narrow shoes. Michael Kors wool cashmere mini dress sweater dress this Burberry I don't know it's gonna have to go out but I can't sell the Burberry dress that I have already because you know there's just a lot of a lot of threading issues on here um, everywhere it's been used and abused and washed and washed and washed um, I don't know I don't see any profit in that either this Gucci shirt is a work shirt uniform shirt 
not for sale although it's a nice shirt I don't see any flaws I mean there might be a market for it it does have the Gucci uh, logo here all the buttons say Gucci I mean it might be sellable very shrunken Hoshino beanie that I guess I'm gonna have to give to my grandson it probably won't fit him either it's all full of balls and hey Ollie come here Ollie Ollie yeah. come here I don't think it's gonna fit on his little fat head either he just got home from school Come here, let me see if this fits on your head. If so, you're going to be styling in your, at your school. You'll be the only one with a designer beanie. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. I don't know that can fit. Yeah. <laughs> I got it on the top. All right, everybody. What you think? <laughs> He'll be styling, but his ears won't be warm. His head might be. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? That one got a tiny little too tight. Is it a little too tight? Yeah. Oh, gosh. All right, well. Mm. <laughs> All right, go back and play your tablet. I'm okay. almost done. Careful. <laughs> Lara, why don't, you don't, don't, don't bump this. Whoa. All right, so if anybody knows how to unshrink a wool beanie, um, please say so in the comments. It won't even fit my seven-year-old grandson. So we have the fake long chomp bag. Don't even want to call it that, but it's in great condition, but it's fake. And maybe the only saving grace in this box is this Henry Bendel humongous tote. The only thing wrong with it is the straps, which I can fix, so yeah. So that's not going to be a big deal. Unless the zipper don't work. Um, it's very nice. But yeah, that is the only... This is the only item in the box that I see making any money off of. So I'm, I'm quite disappointed in this box. Um... A little bit more than quite disappointing. And it's Pennsylvania. So there you have it. Pennsylvania is not always going to come out on top. Um, they do with their fun boxes normally. I also have a fun box here from them um, that is split wide open. So I'm not even sure if everything's in it. But that was a bust. Unless the Henry Bendel turns out to be a profit and unless the Gucci work shirt that says not for sale um, will bring in a decent amount of money um, pretty much a bust that's unfortunate because I always look forward to getting the boxes from Pennsylvania but I have noticed on the designer boxes um, I don't really see they seem to be pretty consistent across the board no matter what location they come from. It's just the fun boxes that suffer, in my opinion, from from the... I can't count how many boxes I've gotten. My trash man hates me. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, what did you think about it? If you have any ideas on how to fix uh, anything or you know anything about the Workforce Gucci shirts, let me know. I will look up that Henry Bendel bag. Um, so my only hopes is to at least just make back, what, uh, $132, um, at least if I can make $132, well then there's nothing lost. Anyway, I will be back tomorrow in the same clothes, no doubt, with another, uh, box, not sure which one, I have another designer, 
I have a fun box and I have a name brand handbag box, but I'm going to open all of them today because you know I'm impatient, but you're only going to see one a day. So I will talk to you guys later. Um, hopefully with a better box. All right, Lily out.